four of our destroyers, the Winslow, the Little, the Crown and Shield and the uh, John C. Butler have uh, ambushed the Japanese screening force after the Arizona has sunk the Cayo and are going after some of the Japanese light cruisers. This is going to be a tough fight because these light cruisers are uh, relatively sturdy. They're basically armored cruisers. So uh, this means we will have to go in for we will have to go in for uh, close range engagements and these things have torpedoes as well. So we've got uh, uh, we've got uh, Winslow and Little here, and I, I can't I can't quite remember which one is which here. I think Little was a Wix class, um, and we've got Crown and Shield and John C. Butler as well. So uh, we're forming two lines, although Crown and Shield and John C. Butler are, uh, of course, uh, more mine minesweepers than destroyers. Well. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do against these Japanese light cruisers. Okay, we have spotted the enemy targets and uh, that light cruiser is on... Um, seems to be alone and is charging in. So let's see if we can... Oh, no, there's the other one. Okay, so we've got the torpedoes disabled so far. For now, we're just going in with a gunfire, but we will try to close into point blank range and uh, fin there they... Okay, so they are in a line ahead formation. So we will try to uh, try to make a pincer movement. For now, we'll just uh, for now we're just going to use the guns at the at the leading target, and uh, the second group is coming in from the other side. We do have to be careful with the Japanese guns, however. So we're going to start by smoking up Crown and Shield and John C. Butler, and uh, see if we can get uh, get into a secure drop torpedo range. Uh, are they turning or are they going straight ahead? I think they are pretty much going straight ahead. So uh, we'll we'll get wins. Uh, we'll we'll get uh, Winslow and Little to start targeting the second cruiser and make a pass from the other side. But uh, incoming fire here, so we do have to be careful there as well. That we, and we're going to smoke up here too, which is going to reduce the uh, which is going to reduce the uh, the amount of spotting. And f okay, incoming torpedoes, Winslow uh, turn to avoid to turn to evade. Uh, they do have forward torpedo launchers, which is probably what these were. So in that case, uh, we have evaded. So we're going to get uh, win uh, we're going to get the win Winslow and Little. To launch their torpedoes and we're going to get uh, Crown and Shield and John C. Butler to launch their torpedoes as well. Uh, Winslow has taken a hit so get the torpedoes away and then uh, then get out of get out of there for now so, and the second group is going to be launching torpedoes too. Uh, Winslow has rudder problems unfortunately has developed rudder problems after that hit so we do have to try and get these torpedoes away and then turn out while a second group has launched now Winslow must uh, must try not to run into our own torpedoes here ideally but I think she's yeah I think she's got the turn so uh, uh, Winslow ha yeah Winslow has to turn torpedoes away and uh, we'll open up the distance a bit I think we are uh, we are significantly faster than those cruisers, and let's see if we can make some something happen with the torpedoes. Uh, this looks relatively good. I think we might be getting two hits here on this cruiser, and one impact. Uh, I think one impact, one dud. Uh, the second spread here appears to have missed, but there are more torpedoes incoming. So, uh, <laughs> and in their panic, they Japanese, uh, the Japanese torpedoed themselves, and we've got one, two, three torpedo hits and a massive explosion on the uh, Takachio, which I think is going to be about, is going to be about to, and another torpedo hit on the Iyoshima, and that just leaves uh, that just leaves one remaining. So uh, we'll get everybody to turn around. Yep, that was two light cruisers down from uh, a brave destroyer action. So let's get the uh, torpedoes reloaded and uh, start focus. That went m way better than I thought it would. 
And uh, we've got some more torpedoes coming in from the other side. Oh, uh, because one of them was a Wix class. I think they set up torpedoes on the other side. So uh, still more torpedoes uh, rolling in. But now we're going to give chase with both groups. And we will see if we can uh, finish off the remaining cruiser, which appears to have taken a torpedo as well. She's smoking up. And uh, the other two sinking. And they are definitely not gonna, not going to get out of this one. Uh, that went well, be way better than I thought it would. Uh, another torpedo impact on one of the already sinking cruisers. But uh, there are two more torpedoes here, which uh, have been sent into the smoke screen. Oh, there she is. Okay, I don't think uh, these torpedoes are going to hit. So uh, she may have developed engine troubles. Uh, we do. We are reloading the torpedoes, but uh, let's close in for let's close in for a gunfight in that case because uh, the uh, we should have a fair amount of guns and uh, she looks dead in the water to be honest. Let's take a closer look if we can determine anything under her smoke screen. Uh, yeah, she's pretty much pretty much dead in the water. There's almost no smoke coming from the stacks, uh, and she's very very slow. So. Uh, we'll, we'll close in and see if we can make something happen with the guns here while we are reloading the torpedoes on the destroyers. Oh, more torpedoes coming in. Um, where are they aimed? Uh, they're probably aimed at Little. Okay, I'm gonna have to detach Little and get her to turn to evade. Uh, those actually, I think Little is fine. Okay, uh, yeah, little is completely fine. I have no idea where they aimed those torpedoes, but uh, fall back in line and uh, get the guns on target. And see if we can set enough, uh, if we can just burn her down. Because uh, torpedoes are still reloading and it's still going to take a while. So let's make a pass here. And uh, I think we are doing a fair amount of damage already. Is she listing? Uh, not that much. So, still guns on the... Okay, yeah, Winslow's just taken a hit here. Uh, okay, we might have been a little too aggressive. Winslow has lost has lost rudder control. That's bad. Um, detach. Uh, yeah, Winslow seems to have completely lost rudder control. Uh, so... Uh, we might have to be a little more careful there. We've still got Crown and Shield John C. Butler hammering from the other side with uh, with their four uh, four five inch guns, and she is burning very merrily. So let's uh, let's keep circling there. But uh, Winslow does need to get the flooding under control in the engine room. And this and her steering problems. So we're, we're gonna give that a little bit of a turn while we are absolutely hammering the ship with uh, with the guns from the other side. Uh, we must slow down to 25 knots. Oh, she is absolutely dead in the water. And circle her with Crown and Shield and John C. Butler um, while they are uh, they are rather effective in what they're doing. And she's focusing her fire on the uh, on the starboard side, so uh, seem to be relatively relatively safe here on this side. And we've got the uh, we've got the other two destroyers. Yep, everything's back under control. So let's uh, let's once again group them up, uh, drop down to 25 knots as well, and turn. Okay, she has shifted her fire. On to Crown and Shield and John C. Butler, so they need to in, uh, speed up once more and turn away while uh, while peppering the Naka with high explosive. And the other group's gonna come in now. And um, torpedoes still not reloaded, but uh, let's make a pass of the bow of the ship and keep the fire up while the other group of destroyers is uh, going to make maneuver for uh, for yeah John C Butler is taking a beating now uh, from the secondaries I think from from the ship so let's uh, 
Let's dis disengage a little bit while the second group is making a pass around uh, around the bow and is going to be taking some of the heat off. Despite the Japanese being immobilized, there's a fierce gun battle here between uh, between the light forces and uh, we're gonna get the other group to turn around okay she is targeting the little now while well, Winslow is making a pass at cl point blank and is actually firing armor piercing at her um, might actually uh, just uh, stick to high explosive please with everybody and see if we can get her to burn I uh, can get her to burn down uh, instead of trying to punch enough five inch holes into that thing that she's sinking so let's keep circling her and the second group is coming back in again uh, little is taking some damage but uh, the Naka is just burning everywhere Okay, Winslow has developed, has ta is taking on some water in the stern, has developed some rudder issues. But uh, duking it out, uh, toughing it out as well. While second group is coming in to take in some of the heat off. Uh, Little is now in the focus of the fire. And uh, yeah, Winslow is having, is struggling to actually get her uh, to, to get the ship turned around. Second group is coming in. Who's got the torpedoes reloaded? Um, uh, who's going to be first? I think the f uh, Winslow group is going to have the torpedoes reloaded first. So let's get them to let's get them to make a first. Ah, nah, never mind. Uh, she's been burnt down. She is sinking, and that is the end of the battle. So with a uh, with a brave uh, with a brave uh, assault onto that light cruiser in the end, we have taken down three light cruisers in an exemplary destroyer action. Uh, in terms of damage dealt, uh, the John C. Butler comes in first, uh, and uh, eighteen thousand points of damage dealt, uh, followed by Little and Winslow. Whereas Crown and Shield hasn't been quite as, as uh, successful with her torpedo hits. But yeah, John C. Butler has managed uh, an, uh, four torpedo hits. Nice. Uh, followed by Little with three hits and Winslow with three hits. Uh, Crown and Shield has, has no torpedo hits and all the damage has been done with the guns.